Welcome to this exciting tutorial on how to unlock the full creative potential of stable diffusion by using LoRa's. Today, we'll delve into the world of generating stunning images with specific styles and themes, guide you through the entire process of installing and using LoRa's, and show off my favorite LoRa's at the end of this video, so stay tuned. LoRa stands for Low Rank Adaptation. It's a game changer in the world of stable diffusion. This technology allows you to quickly fine tune diffusion models, making it easier to train stable diffusion on different concepts, such as characters or a specific style, all while maintaining a small file size. In simple terms, LoRa models make it easier to generate images with specific themes or styles. Now, let's explore how to find the perfect LoRa model for your creative vision. The easiest way to discover LoRa models is on CivitAI.com. Civit AI is the home of open source generative AI, where you can explore thousands of high quality stable diffusion models, share your AI generated art, and engage with a vibrant community of creators. Once on the Civit AI website, press on models in the top left corner. Now look for the filter icon, typically located in the top right corner. Click it and select LoRa, and wait for the page to refresh and only show LoRa models. Now you can browse through the entire collection. Each LoRa model offers a unique output, so take your time to find the one that resonates with your creative ideas. Later in the video, I will show off some of my favorite LoRa's, so stay tuned. Once you've found a LoRa you like, right-click the download button and select Save Link As. Now simply navigate to your LoRa folder, which can be found in the Models folder, and hit Save. Now let's start up Stable Diffusion and see how we can use the LoRa we just downloaded to create some amazing images. To start off, Select a checkpoint that most suits your style. I will be using the Ref Animated checkpoint. Some LoRa's work best with a special checkpoint. You can check if this is the case with your LoRa on Civit AI. Now write your prompt and negative prompt as you would do normally. Next, press on the LoRa button right here and click on the LoRa you just downloaded. Some weird looking text will appear in the prompt section now. Great! This is telling Stable Diffusion that we have selected a LoRa. Now proceed to adjust the generation settings to your liking and hit Generate. Congratulations, you've successfully used your LoRa. You may have noticed that some of my LoRa's have images. This is useful to quickly distinguish the models from each other. To add an image preview to your LoRa, simply hover over the LoRa and click on the hammer icon in the top right. Then in this pop-up menu, click on Replace Preview and there is the image you just generated. Now click Save to apply this preview. Some LoRa's also have an activation text, also known as trigger words. I recommend pasting these in here as well. Then next time you use the LoRa, the trigger words will automatically be added to the prompt along with the LoRa. Now let's talk about LoRa weight. This is how much you want the LoRa to impact the image and is indicated by the value after the colon. The default is 1, and setting it to 0 disables the model. Now some LoRa's like Detail Tweaker can even go in the negative values, meaning it will reduce the detail in the image. I recommend reading the description of your LoRa on Civit AI to get the best results possible. Now let's look at some of my favorite LoRa's and the amazing images it can create. On number one is a must-have for everyone, Detail Tweaker LoRa. This is a LoRa for enhancing or diminishing detail while keeping the overall style or character. And it works well with all kinds of base models, including anime and amp realistic models. Let's compare an image with and without the LoRa to see its effect. On the left, we can see the generated image without the Detail Tweaker LoRa. In the middle, I set the weight to one, and on the right, I set the weight all the way to two. As you can see, it changed the image a tiny bit, but it also added a lot of detail. Just look at how detailed the skin is. Next up, we have the Thicker Lines Anime Style LoRa. The name says it all. This LoRa adds thicker outlines to your anime styled images. The recommended weight is one. So I'll just show you some great examples of this LoRa. Last up, we have Steampunk AI. This is a LoRa extraction from the Steampunk AI checkpoint. 
and is a perfect example on how to customize your AI art without filling up your storage with a full-size checkpoint. Let's look at some examples. We hope you've enjoyed this journey with us. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting tutorials. Until next time, keep creating and stay inspired.